Minecraft is a pretty great game, but that doesn't mean it can't be improved. If you've played the game for years, you might be wanting some extra content that isn't in the vanilla game. So today, I'm going to be showing you the 10 best Minecraft mods of this last year. Oh, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video because there's actually not one, but two big secrets that I have about these mods that I think you'll probably want to hear. The first mod we're going to be looking at is Alex's Mobs. If you've played modded Minecraft, there's a chance you've seen this mod before. The mod adds close to 100 new mobs into the game that all fit the vanilla style pretty seamlessly, including real-life animals like elephants that you can tame and ride, and hammerhead sharks to more fantasy-style creatures like the blood-sucking crimson mosquito and the magical sunbird. This mod also adds tons of new food, gear, blocks, and even music discs, as well as a new boss fight in the end dimension. Overall, this mod's a great expansion to the vanilla game, and is another reason why I'm pretty sure that Minecraft could have added all the mobs in the last mob vote. The next mod on the list is Deeper and Darker, and this mod adds something that we've all been waiting for, a deep dark dimension. In this mod, summoning and killing a warden gives you an item called the Heart of the Deep, which can be used to activate an ancient portal at the center of a city. If you enter the portal, you'll be greeted by a new dimension known as the Other Side. This dimension is home to many hostile mobs such as the Shatter, the Stalker, the Shriekworm, and of course, the Warden can spawn there too. In addition to the new dimension, this mod allows you to upgrade your netherite gear with the Heart of the Deep, which means that you'll basically need to summon four wardens for every piece of armor you want to upgrade. So it's pretty balanced, even if the armor itself is pretty OP. But yeah, once you've upgraded all your armor and gear, you'll get a bit more protection, as well as the newfound ability to rethink your life choices. Next up, you have Better Combat, which overhauls Minecraft's combat system. It doesn't add any new blocks, items, or mobs to the game, but instead it focuses on improving the existing combat features. The mod adds new attack animations for all the vanilla weapons, as well as many modded ones, and it even allows the ability to dual wield some weapons. There's a lot of mods that also have built-in compatibility already with this mod, which gives you even more variety to the weapons and attacks in the game. It's honestly a really good way to distract yourself from the fact that we're still waiting in the next combat update. The next mod you've probably heard of if you've seen anything related to modded Minecraft in the last few years. This is of course, the Create mod. This mod drastically changes the way the game is played by adding a whole new system that can be used to automate farms, crafting, transportation, and a lot more. And even though the design is a bit different than the vanilla textures, it somehow works really well with the rest of Minecraft's features. It's basically the industrial revolution, but with less smallpox or child labor. This mod is worth it for the aesthetics alone, but it does make creating farms a lot more interesting as well. Plus there are a ton of add-ons that expand it further. Create Confectionery adds all sorts of sweets and baking items. Create Enchantment Industry allows you to automate enchanting. Create Steam and Rails adds tons of additional train-related items, and there are lots of others as well. This is honestly my favorite Minecraft mod of all time, and if you remember I said there were two big secrets I was going to share with you at the end, this mod is super important to both of them. Oh, and if you're liking the video and the mod so far, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos that may or may not involve some of these. Another cool mod that works really well with vanilla Minecraft is the Friends and Foes mod, which adds all the mobs from previous mod votes, including the Copper Golem, the Isolager, and the Moobloom, and it actually gives each of these tons of unique functionality and uses. The mod also has a few new structures where you can find some of the mobs, but it's honestly already worth it just to see the Copper Golem finally in the game. Another smaller mod that really changes the way you play the game is Sophisticated Backpacks. This mod solves Minecraft's inventory problem by adding multiple tiers of backpacks into the game. These backpacks hold varying amounts of items and can even be equipped into your back slot so you can wear full armor and not have to take up an inventory space. The mod also has the ability to upgrade your backpacks. It really makes exploring a lot more fun because you don't have to wait until you got vast quantities of shulker boxes before going and exploring your world. Another really great mod that upgrades a common element of vanilla Minecraft is Farmer's Delight. This mod overhauls Minecraft's farming and cooking mechanics. Crops now grow in the wild, and you can use compost to create richer soil, and there are even new crops available like onions, tomatoes, rice, and cabbage. You can use these new items to create a huge variety of meals using the skillet, stove, and cooking pot. The mod is supposedly made by a user of the name Vectorwing, but I'm like 99% sure it's just Gordon Ramsay undercover. I mean, come on guys. You may have fooled them, Gordon, but you haven't fooled me. Like Create, this mod also has a bunch of add-ons. Farmer's Respite adds tea and coffee making, including copper kettle and many drinks with unique effects. Brewing and chewing, on the other hand, allows you to ferment to your heart's delight, creating beers, cheese, and all sorts of other items. Farmer's Delight is also one of my favorite mods, and hopefully you guys like it too, because along with Create, it's a really important part of both the secrets that I'm going to share with you guys at the end of the video. The next item isn't actually a single mod, but it's the entire set of mods created by the Abnormals team. These include mods such as Upgrade Aquatic, which revamps Minecraft's oceans, Atmospheric, which adds several new biomes, Autumnity, which adds autumn-related mobs, items, and biomes to the game, and Environmental, which focuses on upgrading already existing biomes with small details. These mods work pretty well together, which is, I'm sure, completely unrelated to the fact that they were all made by the same team of people. It couldn't be that, guys. It just couldn't. The next mod on the list is another game-changing mod, but this time we get an overhaul of Minecraft's magic system. 
I'm talking about Ars Nouveau. Now, before you start waving your baguettes around in the comment section, yes, I'm American, and no, I'm not going to pronounce it with a French accent. I've only recently started playing around with this mod, let me tell you, it's one of the best magic mods out there. Ars Nouveau allows you to craft your own spellbook that you can customize to your own needs, as well as giving you the ability to craft powerful new items that can give you special effects and abilities. And it even has magical creatures that can help you progress through the mod, as well as level up your magical abilities and do a bit of magical automation. In all honesty, I don't know a lot about Pokemon, but I know just enough about Pokemon to know that this is basically Pokemon. I'm gonna get ripped apart in the comment section for saying that, aren't I? The last two mods we're gonna look at are Terralith and Tectonic. These both are mods that are gonna really change the way your world generates. Terralith adds tons of new biomes, then actually uses only vanilla blocks, and Tectonic transforms landscape, adding huge mountain ranges, winding underground rivers, and oceans that will extend pretty deep into the world. These mods are also completely compatible with one another and add some really neat looking terrain when you pair them together. If you play Terralith by itself, or if you haven't seen either of these before, I'd definitely recommend trying out the combination. Alright, so those are basically the best mods that Minecraft has to offer. Now you probably remember that I said before I had a couple of secrets about these mods. Well, you know how I mentioned before that all these mods are compatible? That is true, but what I didn't mention is that there are actually extension mods that integrate every single one of these mods with one another. For example, Alex's Delight and Abnormal's Delight add new ingredients and meals to Farmer's Delight using items from Alex's mobs and the Abnormal's mods, such as the Bison Burger, Duck Noodles, and the ever so delicious Kangaroo Stew. And on top of that, another mod, Delightful, adds compatibility between Farmer's Delight and tons of other mods, including ones such as Deeper and Darker, as well as Create. And then Create Central Kitchen and Create Slice and Dice take that even a step further, adding compatibility between the Create mod and Farmer's Delight completely, allowing you to automate your food processing and your cooking. Another mod called Ars Creo adds compatibility between Ars Nouveau and Create, allowing you to power your machines by magic and integrate magical items into your contraptions. There's honestly a lot more integration within these mods, but it suffices to say that you can have a magical creature powering a mechanical contraption that uses a knife from the deep dark dimension to process and cook your duck meat into duck stew, which gets deposited into your backpack when your copper golem pushes a button. So yeah, hopefully that's enough evidence for you. Now you're probably thinking, astronaut, you said there was going to be two big secrets, what's the other one? Well. That one I think is personally even more exciting. Like I said originally, I think these mods really go great together, so much so that I'm going to be starting a modded Let's Play series with these mods at the core of it. The pack is a perfect blend of adventure, automation, magic, and aesthetics, as well as some quality of life tweaks and optimization. I've really spent a long time getting this mod pack just right, and I'm really excited to share it with all you guys. If you like these mods, then you're not going to want to miss this series, so make sure to subscribe to be the first one to know when it's out. I'm going to be starting working on the first episode as soon as this video releases, or at least whenever I get around to it, so hopefully it's not going to be too much of a wait. But like I said, make sure you subscribe if you like this video, and also you don't miss the new series. Oh, and also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, or not, if you'd rather not. I guess that's fine too. Psychopath. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!